Have you run into trouble with a new end screen editor in YouTube Studio? If so, I'm going to show you how to use it for your uploads right now. G'day, Doug from Doug Houston YouTube. We're going to get straight into it so you can find out how to use a new end screen editor properly in YouTube Studio. Let's go to the computer. Alrighty, a lot of people are having uh, issues with the new end screen editor in Studio. If you're one of those people, then you're in the right place. We're going to have a look at it now. I'm going to show you how to use the end screen editor in Studio. I've just uploaded my video and now I'm in the upload process on step number three, which is the video elements, which is the end screen and the end cards. So let's get straight into the end screen. I would like to add my subscribe button and some playlists and video links. Okay, this is the new editor, as you can see, it's just loading up my video now. It gives us some uh, template options here. Over this side, you can see some um, default template options. Now, first thing I want to do is find the spot where I want to start. Now, I don't have a, a specific end screen plate on the end of mine, but I am actually just doing a close. So I just want to see where I want to put this information. So if we use the player, this is where I want stuff to start popping up. At this point, I don't use the full 20 seconds usually. Now, people saying, I don't want to use the templates. I want to add my own bits and pieces. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit confused as to ha how to add my bits and pieces. Okay, real simple. Right at the top here, you see plus end screen. Click on that. You get the option of video, playlist, subscribe button, channel, and link. Depending on what you have available, if you're not in the YouTube Partner Program, you may not have an option to use the link. So there you go. First thing I'm going to add is a video and I am going to choose best for viewer. And in this case, because of where my head is, I'm just going to put it in the bottom. And now you can see where it, it actually adds it to the full 20 seconds, but we'll, we'll address that in just a second. Next thing I want to do is add another one. I want to add a playlist this time. You can see all the playlists pop up that's on your channel so you can go and pick the playlist. I'm just going to pick a playlist. The playlist I'm looking for is not here so I'm going to pick that one. As you can see it puts it straight in then again we can move it to where we want to move it to. Beautiful and finally I want to add my subscribe button and there it is there. I'm going to put it right there. That's the, the, basic template that I want to go with. Now I'm just going to quickly uh, put my playhead uh, at the start here. You can see everything is currently 20 seconds long. So currently if I play, you can see that it's already appearing and I'm still talking. I actually want to be shorter. Okay, this is where I want everything to pop up here at about 9.53, 9.54. What you can do is simply come and grab this and drag it to the length that you want. You can see it's still kept my marker there. Make sure you got the left right arrow there appearing. I can click on playlist. And you know, this doesn't quite fit the screen. Now I could actually just use the, uh, this thing to make it bigger and smaller is a, a big difference between the first one and the second one so yeah, i'm just going to go match them because i want them all to come on at the same time so i'm just going to match them up so that's basically what i got so i can go back in one level you can see the whole gray area is the period that is the last 20 seconds of the video which is the area you're able to put it into i just want it to appear right at the end when i'm speaking so if i come back to here and just play you can see it's not appearing yet it's about to come up here and that's what I want to have happen that's perfect now I've added everything that I want I'm simply going to click save and it's saved and then I can go ahead and add my cards and so on but I'm not adding cards to this particular video everything's in a little bit of a different position but everything is still there it is still applicable you can still add videos playlists subscribers links and so forth per what's available to you at your channel level. If this video was helpful to you, make sure that you uh, give it that old thumbs up because I know a lot of people have had hassles with the end screen editor. 
And if you really liked it and you want more content like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. This is Doug from Doug Houston YouTube, and I'll catch you later. Subscribe to Doug Houston YT for more tech for content creation.